So, as I was saying, it makes you stronger um, in who you are and what has God called you and what is God has called you to. You have to understand. You have to have thick skin um, to do this. Um, and I'm going to tell you, it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. I'm still thickening my skin. God is still thickening my skin. Um, I, I do operate in a level of boldness now um, that I didn't do when I first started. Um, but you can't be afraid of men their opinions um, and that, when I say men I mean men and women um, because everybody's going to have an opinion but the only truth that matters is God's truth what he said to you um, let us give you this last part of the scripture because it seems to be a fight <laughs> me giving you this um as a binary spirit is trying to stop me from finishing this, this must be key. Um, and here is what God said after he touched his mouth. Her, um, Jeremiah one ten. now. It says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. I believe that is the prophet's extension of his ministry. We don't just exhort. We don't just build up. We don't just comfort. But we have to root out sometimes. We have to tear down sometimes. We, we give directional words at times. We have to point people back to Christ because um, sometimes they allow themselves to drift just a little too far now he said that he'll never leave you nor forsake you but we do we drift away and not even positionally because positionally we're in Christ we drift away relationally soulishly mentally emotionally from Christ okay so um, it's part of your job You are in charge by God, and, and, and I, I personally want to be the person who ordains you. Um, I do tell you this, tell you the truth. I want to be the person who ordains your prophetess um, when the time comes. Um, I'm excited for you to go to Arizona, but I'm excited for you establishing all God wants you to establish, establish over there, and I can't wait to hop on a plane. Hopefully it's in January in the winter. When it's not too hot over there. <laughs> but I can't wait to hop on a plane. Um, and come over there and, and, and help you. Spend some time with you and, and help you. and um, Help you help you dig. Help you establish um, all that God wants you to establish. Um, and I'll say this. Um, titles. We call them titles, but they're not titles. The fivefold ministry, the Bible says, he, he gave gifts unto men. That's the gift of the apostle, the gift of the prophet, the gift of the evangelist, the pastor and teacher. Um, you're a gift by God to the body of Christ as a prophetess. And you have to see yourself that way. If you don't see yourself that way, you will fall for everything and allow people to mistreat you and even pimp you in your gift if you don't see yourself as a gift if you don't see yourself as precious the bible says all good and perfect gifts come from above i'm gonna tell you the truth i have heard that scripture for 20 years i found it for the first time <laughs> yesterday in my mom my grandma me my, uh, my mother-in-law's house um, so, um, but you are a gift from God. Now you have to see yourself that way. You have to. You can't see yourself any other way. All that you are, you're an infectious personality. You have a very infectious personality. And that means your personality is 
is is uh, contagious. Your laughter, the joy you have. Um, don't try to be a carbon copy of anybody. Be who God made you to be. Now I can take time now. I'm not teaching now. I just take time to encourage you in this. Be who you are. Be who you are. Please. Um, I can tell you right now that's more important in my mind, and I believe it's more important with God than we think. We try to be someone else, but God said if we're going to worship him, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. God anoints truth. God empowers truth. He is truth all by himself. So therefore, if God anoints and empowers truth and honors truth, then we can't be anybody else because that's not truth. That's called a deception. That's called a lie. That's called, and that's, that's an, a hypocrite. That's actually a hypocrite. A hypocrite was not someone that said they was a Christian and did, did something different. No, that's not what he was saying. Hypocrite in Jesus' time meant actor he he said you hypocrites he said you're playing a part but you're not being who you said you are you're playing a part but you're not being the truth and who you are he said they were playing they were acting they were playing make believe remember he talked about them as as being men like tombs whitewashed which means the tombs were the glycerin, they were beautiful. Glory to God, Rab Maso. They were Ah Rab No Santo. Kidreva Fo God. Kidreva Ya Basom. They were, they were, they were Ah Santo Kudre No Santo. Rab Masa Bakasam. They were glistening, just white and pure and beautiful tombs. But he said in them, it's like dead men's bones. So, although it was pretty, out on the outside and the inside, didn't represent what was on the outside dead men's bones so don't be like people like that I charge you to be yourself I charge you to be uncomfortable in who you are in your skin I charge you to be all that you're supposed to be in him glory to God for I, I hear God say I have made you beautiful I have made you fearfully I have made you wonderfully Based off of my image and my likeness, all that you are, all I've made you to be, is according to, to what I've called you to be and called you to do. And even your assignment is based off of who you are and personality-wise, your hair on your head. I, he said, I know you so intimately that I know every piece of hair that drops to the ground. I know them by number. Meaning every head and our hair is numbered I pulled this one out that was 223 I pulled this one out that was 125 he numbered just think about the number he numbered the hairs on our, that's how intimately precise with detail he made us I love my soul Glory to God, that makes me want to worship. Hallelujah, God. He didn't just throw us together. Uh, glory. He He, yeah. He loves us so much. Sorry. His heart for us is such that the, even I've forgotten what scripture it says that he made us little lower than the angels. Which that word means actually Elohim. So he actually didn't make us lower than the angels as the, as the false interpretation says. He made us little lower than himself. He said, we're always on his mind. We're always on his mind. Lord, go drive my soul. Hallelujah. He's always on your mind. 
He's always on your mind. You're always on his mind. I'm sorry. Oh, glory. Got stuck there for a second. I'm sorry. Oh, glory. We'll stop there. Please know. You have to confirm. You have to correct. You have to direct. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm with you, I hear him say. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Just rest in me. Because you're complete in me, I hear him say. Mm, even in your dance, I see you taking it to such a new level in dance and then I said, but do it in me. Don't get caught up in the mess. Wherever you go and whenever you go, you're going to take the people even to another level in that, in the arts. I encourage you, Sister Renee, let them do it. Let him give you the new thing. Oh, God. People are even fighting that now. People are fighting, saying, God is not doing nothing new. Oh, my God, how can they say that? God, I give God glory if he'll show him. He's going to show him. He's going to show him. I hear this song for you. I'm not a singer, but I don't care. I like singing to God and ministering to God. And and let it, if it ministers to his people, that's fine. I have to say this to you prophetically. I give myself away so you can use me. Give yourself away even more to God. Mm. Oh God, I'm totally not going to teach no more now. <sighs> he's coming and he's ruined me. And I'm okay with that. But I thank you for, for receiving the God in me and what God wants to impart in you. You don't know how much God honors you for that. You don't know how much God honors you for that. How you see me and my wife. People know it, but they reject it. Because we're not the package they wanted. But God ain't never known and never been concerned about the package. So, thank you. I honor you for that. Um, I'm going to play this song and I'm just going to play this song and uh, 
gonna put the phone down and I'm gonna worship. And you can worship, you can leave now. I'm not gonna teach you nothing else. I do have to hang up now. I'm going now.